so tonight, I do not promise the millennium in the morning. I don't promise that we can eradicate poverty and end discrimination and eliminate all danger of war in the space of four or even eight years. But I do promise action, a new policy for peace abroad, a new policy for peace and progress and justice at home. Look at our problems abroad. Do you realize that we face the stark truth that we are worse off in every area of the world tonight than we were when President Eisenhower left office eight years ago? That's the record. And there is only one answer to such a record of failure, and that is a complete house cleaning of those responsible for the failures on that record. The answer is the complete reappraisal of America's policies in every section of the world. We shall begin with Vietnam. We all hope in this room that there's a chance that current negotiations may bring an honorable end to that war. And we will say nothing during this campaign that might destroy that chance. But if the war is not ended, when the people choose in November, the choice will be clear. Here it is. For four years, this administration has had at its disposal the greatest military and economic advantage that one nation has ever had over another in a war in history. For four years, America's fighting men have set a record for courage and sacrifice unsurpassed in our history. For four years, this administration has had the support of the loyal opposition for the objective of seeking an honorable end to the struggle. Never has so much military and economic and diplomatic power been used so ineffectively. And if after all of this time and all of this sacrifice and all of this support, there is still no end in sight, then I say the time has come for the American people to turn to new leadership, not tied to the mistakes and the policies of the past. That is what we offer to America.